Marksman, what is up with SwiftShot2020, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to use the green screen, or as it is professionally called, the chroma key effect in Blender. And this one will be for photos. The first thing you need is Blender for this, so I will show the link on the screen. I'll put the link in the description, and I'll have a card up here so you can just click on the link to download Blender if you don't have it already. So now that you're here, you want to click right here, showing you guys, here's my mouse, follow it up here, and you want to click on compositing. So now you're in the compositing section. You want to check off use nodes and backdrop. And then you want to click this triangle thing in the corner right here, drag it over so this is full screen. And now you want to click shift plus while you're hovering over this spot. And now that you're here, you want to click render layers, this one right here, click it and then click X. And then you want to drag the compositor over here because we'll need that later. So now what you want to do is click Shift A, Input, Image, and then you want to click Open, and then you're going to find your image. Now click through here to find it. So like say it's in your downloads, you want to click on Documents, and then click this up arrow to get in the more documents, and it just keeps going. Like so now it's showing all your documents and so so mine is in downloads and it should say max res default there's my picture so now from here what you want to do is you want to click shift a and you want to click mate and then you want to click chroma key and then once you click that to keep it in place and then you click image and you drag it over to where it says image over here and now that's connected and where it says key color you want to click that and then drag this little circle to green so that it knows the key color is green and it'll get rid of all things green. So now what you want to do is click Shift A. You want to click Output and you want to click Viewer. So now you can see your final result, but it will be too large. And um, if you want to zoom out, you just click on Image and then you go over here where it says Zoom and you just drag it out a little bit. So now it's okay now you can still see the green around him and it's not that clean so what we want to do is where it says acceptance drag that up really high to 80 and then drag the cutoff up to 30 and then drag fall off down to about 0.5 it could be pretty close so 5.4.91 is pretty close and then you can see it's really trimmed down but that's still not the final render so it will look pretty clean so now what you want to do is this is a little bit off scale so what you want to do is hit control click and then drag to get rid of this connector and you want to click shift a distort and then you want to click scale and you put this here and connect image to image and then where it says relative you click that and you click render size so it's the right size and now you drag image to image and see it's smaller and it's the right size so now you can control click and drag to get rid of that and then bring the compositor over and drag image to image and now you want to click shift space and then you want to go over here well you can be anywhere and then hit just hit F12 and it'll show you your render now if you want to save it at this point you just hit image save as image and then you save it now if you want to have an image in the background which I prefer to do in an editor and just taking this transparent background one but if you want to do this through Blender, uh, what you got to do is go back into full screen here, and then you want to shift, control, click, and get rid of that arrow between scale and compositor, and then drag the compositor over here again, and drag the viewer and connect it there. So now you can see it again. And now what you need to do is get your background image. So what we need to do is click Shift A, input image. And now you find your background image. So conveniently, mine's easy to find. It's right here, background JPG. And there it is. It's all set. So now what you need, well, not all set, but now what you need to do is click Shift A, Color, Alpha Over. And then you want to click Convert Premall. And then what you want to do from here is you put the Alpha Over in between Scale and Viewer. And it'll connect those two. But now what you need to do is bring the image down here bring the scale up so you have a little more room and then drag image into image now I know what you're thinking it just shows this but there is a quick way to fix this and the way to fix that is the like say the image one was on the bottom 
and this one was on the top, that means it's not the right not the uh, right order so you want to change them so this one instead put on the bottom instead of the top and then put this one on the top instead of the bottom and it'll fix it instantly and boom there you go there's your minion on a background now at this point you could just click shift plus oh I'm sorry you can get rid of you can click control and then click and drag and get rid of that get the viewer out of here you can even click X and get rid of it and then bring the compositor over and connect the compositor to the alpha over. And uh, now you can click shift space and then hit F12. And then here's your final render. You can click image, save as image, and then save it from there. So yeah, that is how you use the chroma key or green screen effect in Blender. So thank you guys to all who watched. Be sure to like, comment, and share this video to all your friends. Subscribe today to become a marksman for more content. But besides that, don't forget to stay on target. Goodbye.